My name is Joseph Mungai. I work at USAID in the program office. Have you ever wondered how to conduct a data quality assessment, also known as DQA? A DQA process has about five steps. Preparation, desk review, field review, documentation, and developing a mitigation plan with the implementing partner. The program office keeps track of when the indicators are due for DQA. In the preparation stage, this involves notifying the implementing partner who will be visited. Let them know the date that the USA DQA team will be visiting them. And it is good practice to inform the implementing partner who among their staff should attend these meetings. And this would include the monitoring and evaluation specialist and the chief of party. You should also inform the implementing partner what types of documents you would like them to make available and this would include the monitoring evaluation and learning plans, the recent annual and quarterly reports among other documents. Remember to send the DQA checklist in advance. This will let the implementing partner know what they need to have at the meeting. As you prepare for the DQA field visit, you will need to review the documents related to the indicator going to be assessed. This will enable you to customize the data collection tools appropriately. The documents you will need to review include the performance indicator reference sheet for the indicator, also known as PEERS, previous DQA report, monitoring evaluation and learning plan for the implementing partners, the activity PEERS if this is not in the MEL plan, and the recent quarterly and annual reports. So when you're reviewing documents, what are you looking for? Okay, usually you're looking to see whether the implementing partner has their performance indicator reference sheets, uh, whether they have their monitoring evaluation and learning plan, and also what kind of data they've been collecting. After reviewing the documents, the next step is to customize the tools that will be used in the DQA visit. These tools are provided by USAID and would have about 18 to 20 questions that can be used. So the team would want to customize to make sure that the question that will be asked will be relevant to the implementing partner. An example is, after reviewing the MEL plan, you probably would discover that the implementing partner does not have the performance indicator reference sheet. And so you'd want to ensure that question is in that tool. Another example is, after reviewing the documents, you discover that the implementing partner does not have sub-grantees. The tool provided by USAID has a question for sub-grantees. So this is an example of a question that you'd want to drop from your tool in this customization. In the field review stage, the DQA team visits the implementing partner to have meetings, to discuss, and also to review the documents they have in their office. So in this stage, you're looking at the process of how the data is collected, how it is entered into their system, how it is stored, how it is processed and finally entered into the quarterly and annual reports that are sent to USAID. The DQA team would also plan to meet with the implementing partner to review the documents which include the MEL plan, the performance indicator reference sheet, in the process of, of understanding the challenges that they experience when collecting this data. After the field review, the DQA team needs to document their observations of the findings on how the data is collected and processed by the implementing partner. In this stage, the individual members of the DQA team are provided with a template where they enter their observations about the integrity of the data collection process. Once each individual has filled in their template, they would come together and compare their observations and come up with a consensus which provides the reference for giving feedback to the implementing partner of the DQA visit. After the field visit, the DQA team would submit the DQA report to the contracting officer representative who is in charge of the activity whose indicator was being assessed. The contracting officer representative would use this to provide feedback to the implementing partner on areas that they need to improve their data collection. From experience, some of the areas include 
the IP improving their data management system, or in other instances, USAID would be required to provide training to the implementing partner to better understand the indicator that is being reported. This forms part of the action plan that is developed from the DQA visit.